we're here in the town of El Ceibo in Guatemala. We are very, very close to the Mexican border. Hola, buenas. Aquí? Okay. Welcome to Mexico! The first place that we're going to try and get to today is called Aluxis. It's a sanctuary for rescued wildlife. Wow, so we entered this like crazy back road here and there's so much tropical forest around, it's crazy. Yes, yeah, absolutely beautiful, it's so nice and green. And we saw already like really, really big, big trees and yeah, it looks epic. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea where the GPS is trying to take us. This must be the right way to Palenque, but yeah, certainly not a main road, that's for sure. Bienvenidos a Palenque. So we basically just rode all the way through to Palenque. I think it was like our longest ride so far, like two hours and uh, 40 minutes in one go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And now I am really, really thirsty because I've been I'm sweating so... the whole time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and it's just better maybe in this circumstance with this heat just to get this part of the ride done, get our gear off, drink a whole bunch of water. Yeah. And then visit an ecological park. And look says in 100 meters. Look they, they have so many signs for it. They have a you lot really of signs for this place. Yeah, you really can't miss it. Let's pray that it's open. Oh, look nice and shaded. Yeah. Let's we'll try and find a shaded spot. Mm. Mm. This will have to do. Okay. It's like partially shaded. <laughs> okay. Oh, we did it. It's still 39 degrees, by the way, so it did not cool down one tickety. We're going to have a little snack. We're going to have a drink of water, and then we'll see whether we can still visit this place today. Bye, Bumblebee. So we didn't have really very much water left, and we finished everything. And uh, we just had like a bag of cookies each, so first thing we're gonna do is see if they have something to drink and maybe something to eat and then we'll see some beautiful animals Whoa. how many macaws there are here incredible wow. and there's two more over here as well And this bird shows exactly what this organization does because for the last 70 years, the scarlet macaw has actually been extinct in the Chiapas region of Mexico. And this organization has worked to breed and re-release back into the wild over 80 of these beautiful birds. And now those birds have just given birth to the first generation of wild scarlet macaws in this region for 70 years. Look, I think he's picking the flowers over there. Yeah. Hello, beautiful. So that perfectly shows what the Aluxus Eco Park is all about because this place is not a zoo, it is a wildlife rehabilitation center. So their aim is always to get the animals that come in here from the illegal wildlife trade or mistreatment. Their aim is to rehabilitate them and release them back into the wild. But of course, that isn't always possible. Some of the animals have been mistreated. Some of the animals are too friendly to humans and some of the animals just simply wouldn't survive back in the wild. These animals are kept here to live a really nice life here and delight all of the tourists that come here that also give this organization their sole income because they're a non-government organization. They aren't funded by any major organizations. So all the funding they get is from visitors like us. But enough info, it's time to see these beautiful animals. Wow, a jaguar.
That is absolutely incredible. So these guys can live for over 20 years and can reach 100 kilograms. And this is a pretty big guy right here. Wow, crazy. So I'm just reading about why this jaguar is here and apparently this is called Lola the Jaguar and this jaguar was bought by a family to basically be exploited and used for photography, for photo shoots, for commercials and basically for the profit of the family that owned her. When she wasn't being used, she was basically placed in a cage and was incredibly unhappy and suffering. So the Aluxis organization actually rescued Lola and now she has a multi-level massive enclosure and is definitely enjoying a far better quality of life than when she was captive. It might not be back in the wild for Lola, but at least it's a much better situation than she was in before. Oh look, they're there. Oh. Wow, we're just getting a glimpse of a manatee. So apparently they have three and one baby, <laughs> which is amazing. We just saw the little nose popping up. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Oh, cool. Wow, and these guys can weigh between 400 and 600 kilos and grow to a length of four and a half meters. So these are some massive animals. And they're actually living on the north coast, so the Caribbean coast of the whole of Central America. He's there, he must be there. <laughs> Finally can see some flamingos close up. <laughs> we tried really hard on our trip to like find them, film them and and just look at them, but they were always so far away and here they are. That's incredible. I love this bird. It's so like iconic beautiful bird. Wow. We've arrived at Spider Monkey Island. This is some kind of enclosure. Look at this. They've made a, like an artificial lake around these huge trees. And there we can see a whole bunch of spider monkeys playing about up in the trees. And if the trees weren't enough, they've given them like loads of ropes and sort of climbing apparatus as well. So that's really nice. They seem to have like a really, really nice life here, which makes me really happy. So I just lost the top, the fluffy bit on the mic and now we have to walk all the way back to try and find it. Oh man. Okay, I've got good news and bad news. Good news is that we found the fluffy and the bad news is... Oh no. It's right down there. I found a bamboo pole and we've just got to figure out a way to attach something to the end to see if we can do something with this fluffy. I can reach it here. Okay. There. Oh no. Okay, I've got an idea. I get a small stick. So I've put a thorny stick on the end of the bamboo. And now I'm gonna see if I can get that thorny stick tangled up in the foam. Let's see if we can do something here. Careful, careful, careful. What? Yeah, yeah, move it like this, yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. slowly, slowly, very slowly, very, very slowly. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! It's a little bit swampy, but we got it back. Mm. 
well, this is an animal that we were hoping to find in Costa Rica, but they didn't have them in the Manuel Antonio National Park that we went to. They just had them in the Corcovado National Park in the wild. But we'll have to settle for seeing him here down below us. Sleeping and relaxing, enjoying his life. This is a beautiful tapir and they live across rainforests all over South and Central America. And he's like a mix between like a pig, the hippo, maybe a bit of elephant thrown in there. Such a crazy animal. So they have this massive crazy concrete tower here and uh, we're just climbing to the top of it to get a view of the canopy. Oh, here we are. Oh, wow. That's a view, hey? That's a view. Hi guys, we thought it's a good opportunity to tell you guys more about the charity we have chosen on our around the world ride. Born Free! Born Free are an international animal welfare charity that work tirelessly to ensure that all wild animals, whether living in captivity or in the wild, are treated with compassion and respect. They work across the world to preserve, protect and rescue wild animals in need, finding compassionate conservation solutions so that humans and wildlife can coexist peacefully. If you want to support this amazing charity and find out more about their work, then follow the link in the description below to our Just Giving page. Additionally, we'll be donating one pound from every one of our Overlander t-shirt sales to this charity, which is at the moment at 221 pounds. So you can choose. If you want to donate to Born Free directly, then follow the link in the description below to our fundraiser or get your hands on one of these from our Etsy store and you'll be supporting these guys as well. And you'll have an awesome t-shirt. Thanks everybody. And now back to the video. All right, it is nearly six o'clock. Oh, Jesus, splash plate. Gracias, ciao. It is nearly six o'clock and it is time to get out of here because it's gonna be dark in about 20 minutes. But I'm so glad that we managed to get here today and managed to see this place. Yeah, what a wonderful project. What a wonderful thing to do. After a pretty stressful day at the border, it was really nice to just see some animals chilling at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because actually when you're traveling through a lot of countries and you have like a lot of stress because you cross borders, you kind of ask yourself, why am I doing this? Like, it's so stressful. And then when you reach a beautiful place like this, it's a good reminder, ah, oh, this is the reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, because you have to be here to see this. This is what the journey gives us, experiences like that. So thank you, Aluxis. That was awesome. But now we've got to get to a room with AC because it's been an incredibly hot day. So we found a place on iOverlander, which is like 500 Mexican pesos for the night. Yeah, it's about 22 pounds. So not the cheapest room, but this area here is very touristic. So the room prices are just crazy. We wanted to do camping, but the temperature is just, it's just too high. We need our energy at the moment. Yeah, we need that air conditioning. So I think we're only literally a mile from town. So we're gonna head to the room see if they got a room for us and then maybe uh, head out for a bite to eat because I am starving we just ate a, b a bag of cookies <laughs> <laughs> literally since breakfast all yeah. I've eaten is a bag of cookies <laughs> oh what a crazy day hey what a crazy day okay it looks like we've arrived right in the center this hotel must be like right in the center of Palenque what a beautiful area should be just here on the here actually what's the name hadassa 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 hmm um oh i can see some macaws up in the trees oh yeah casa hadassa okay yeah cool there it is 
I have to show you this room and you won't believe it. AC, the most beautiful bed in the world. Free water. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going at this. I'm going at it, it's free. Look at this beautiful table. Then, a coffee machine. It's so stylish, like the furniture are just in harmony with everything. It looks so new, clean and nice, like the most beautiful. I want to live here, I want to live here. But you know what? Look at this one. It's like the biggest bathroom in the world. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god, it was a busy and exhausting day and I'm so happy that we found this little paradise here. I'm just waiting for the AC to cool the room down because I am so sweating. Oh, so nice. So nice to have arrived somewhere. Yeah. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. An update on Lavi's back that got burnt during our snorkeling. So definitely got some some healing to do here. Look at that. It's kind of got some small bubbles and it's a bit it's a bit peeling. Yeah. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 360. <laughs>